Welcome back everyone to Marketing Thursdays with the Roofing Insights. My name is Dmitry Lipinski and today I'm going to answer a few questions about Home Advisor. You recently have seen a lot of activity on our channel. We've been featured in the news in Colorado. Uh, I've been keep reviewing them and people just keep commenting and commenting and commenting why you're so negative about the company. What's wrong with the Home Advisor? So on Marketing Thursday today I have only one tip for you if you're the contractor and that tip is do not sign up with the home advisor i really hope that you continue making these videos to shine light on what home advisor is doing because no contractor should have to go through this and it's just like you're ripping people off like right like blindly right in front of their faces and like it's just not okay so like i I applaud you for what you're doing and like shedding light on Home Advisor. As a contractor, you're probably looking for more business. You probably uh, when your phone ring and people to find you. Unfortunately, there's a lot of services out there that compete with you for your own service, for your own keywords. You heard me right. You own the business. You own your name, you own your brand. Own it. 100% own your brand. Don't let anybody I repeat anybody to take your brand and compete against you. I, with the home advisor, I've seen so many times where contractors signing up for their services and before you know it, they have bigger presence on the home advisor uh, versus the, their own presence on Google and elsewhere. I literally just checked them myself in my own town and what I found out is when I went to home advisor, I see list of nine companies that home advisor sent me as a trusted companies in my area. For one, none of them are in business more than one or two years, so they're all brand new companies because Home Advisor is targeting brand new openings. They're not gonna target 40, 50 year old company who've been in business forever. They're gonna go after small brands and a lot of those brands don't have their own presence. So literally, you have to go through Home Advisor to hire them. So if you don't trust me when I say do not hire Home Advisor, how about this? How about if I tell you that their own employees are saying how much Home Advisor is lying to the contractors? Um, just in preparation for this video, I received a phone call if, from current employee of Home Advisor who pretty much wanted to be a whistleblower and wanted to share her story. So I'm gonna play her phone call right now. I have her permission and I want you to listen uh, words of ex -empl current employee, I'm sorry, current employee of Home Advisor, what she has to say how it is to work for Home Advisor and what is it they're doing for the contractors. What's your name? Uh, Catherine. Hey, so you work for Home Advisor? Yes, I do, sir. Wow, thanks for being brave enough reaching out. Oh yeah, no problem. I actually, um, I did research on Home Advisor before starting working here, and I saw your um, your uh, YouTube, and I was like, uh, it, it can't be true. And of course, everyone has that it can't be true kind of scenario. And of course, it's exactly like you say. And then I recently just saw another one, and I was like, I really need to get in contact with this guy, and like. Something has to be done about this company. It's, it's ridiculous. So you currently work there right now? Yeah, so I've been here for two months, but I'm thinking about quitting just because I, I cannot handle the way that the contractor does because of things that Home Advisor has done to them through the, the sales process of this whole thing. Wow. Uh, well, we actually, I, I have another uh, person last year, she was in charge, she was there for over a year and she was a uh, kind of uh, in managing position. So what she was, okay. she, she, the same thing, she called me and she said that she was reporting to management about her employees lying to contractors to sell them. And then, mm -hmm. and then she was saying that uh, they pretty much disregarded, say, hey, you know, like they didn't do nothing about it. So the home advisor obviously knows that, uh, you know, they're lying, their employees are lying just to get a sale and uh, they're yes. not doing nothing about it just because how much money they're making. 
Yeah, yeah. I've been. I've had. I, I'm very honest. And I, when I speak to my managers, and I go, "Hey, you know that your sales rep are doing this," and then their response is, "Well, it's not that they're um, they're lying. They're just selectively choosing their words." And so they know, like, when a contractor signs up, they know what they're getting themselves into because. Like they're just our sales reps are just selectively using words and um, basically half-assing everything and not giving the whole truth of what's actually happening and how they're just getting robbed for their money. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It, so, it, it, it's it's very disturbing. And uh, can you describe like your culture working at Home Advisor? Because I, I heard so many things from reviews and uh, is that I mean. Is it pretty? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. The people are great, but the work, it's like you don't get paid enough to do the work that you're doing and to get yelled at every single day. Like, it's wow. just like, I can't take it anymore. And I'm just like, I, it's like, it's really hard for you to like sleep at night because you're just like, you're screwing people over. And then they, on top of that, they want you to like, um, get the, the contractors to, give you more money and raising their spend targets which really is just like helping us out because then we can give you more bogus leads and oh well if you can't get in contact with them you're still going to get charged for it and it's just like man like I can't sleep at night knowing that I'm doing this to people and I'm just like I, I have to quit this job and like get my sanity back and not feel like a piece of shit because I'm screwing people over every single day. Wow. Uh, what do they say about class action lawsuit against them? <laughs> um, I, I know in my uh, first week actually on the floor, I asked about it and they're like, well, I mean, we do have them, but they're all being taken care of. They're nothing big. And I'm just like, I know that's like a crock of bullshit because um, I know people that work here and one of the reasons why Home Advisor changed their name from Service Magic is because of a huge uh, um, uh, lawsuit that they have against them and they just don't want to bring that up or they say we have a great legal team um, so they'll handle it and then it's like oh, on, on to the next subject or don't bring it up or they'll just run around it. Wow. What do you yeah. what do you think about our videos that my videos that you've seen? Oh, I I love them and <laughs> I can't wait until something is finally done about Home Advisor to bring down this company. Like I really hope that you continue making these videos to shine light on what Home Advisor is doing because no contractor should have to go through this and it's just like you're ripping people off like right like blindly right in front of their faces and like it's just not okay so like i i applaud you for what you're doing and like shedding light on home advisor wow i i appreciate that about cancellation i know when i try to cancel they they like i called in i recorded the conversation i said i'm gonna cancel and they said it's canceled but they put it on pause and it repeated twice and um, after like you know i reached to top top management uh finally it was uh, uh canceled but i hear from a lot of contractors and the reviews too that they don't cancel accounts they put it on pause do you have like some kind of protocol with that so i so i'm just in the customer service side of it so we always have to transfer to somebody else to actually cancel out the account uh -huh. um, I have seen that they'll just put like some accounts they do get all the way canceled out but then other ones they're just like oh this person will be back so they put it in a cultivating account which basically gives you a platform on home advisor so anyone that searches home advisor can see you call you and say hey I want to like do a project with you and then that's kind of home advisors way of trying to bait you back in and, and get you to turn back their account but i am not sure if they like i only get to hear the hey i want to cancel and i'm just like okay let me transfer you over um and so i don't get to see what actually happens but i do have friends and i tell them hey if you guys have an account with home advisor make sure that you cancel out their account completely um and like don't let them um 
hassle you into like, oh, let me pause your leads for you or anything like that because that's how they're going to get you and you're going to think your leads are paused and that you're not going to get any more leads and then once that pause date comes uh, comes up to turn on your leads, then there goes that rack of bill again. Wow. Yeah. Well, you, you, you're brave too. Uh, do you see a lot of uh, po like contractors who actually love Home Advisor at all? Like, have you ever met somebody or deal with somebody who like super happy, pays the bill all the time, get? I that is, I have had a handful of contractors that are like, hey, I'm, um, I'm actually receiving a lot of work from Home Advisor. I've been with you guys for the last ten years. I love your guys' company. Um, can we go ahead pause the leads for a little bit? It's it's very it's like finding a unicorn um, in working with Home Advisor. Like I take on a lot of calls every single day, and so it's literally like amazing when you get one of those calls when they're like, "Hey, I just need to pause my leads. I have too much work coming in right now. I'm up for the next." like two or three months so like there are people that it's working out for but for the majority of the people that home advisor is starting to like contract on they're just getting scammed like left and right and i honestly think that there's like they're generating like false leads because like we get some very bizarre names come through and they request credits for it and then it gets denied and then we have contractors calling in and saying like, hey, why is it denied if like, um, like, do you, are you guys not reading this information? Like, who would name their child this name? Like, are you guys reading any of the information? And then like, we have to fight for that. And then our manager goes, oh yeah, I don't know why that was denied. And it's like, you guys know why it was denied. You guys just want to take their money and then say, here, here's some credit but you won't get your money back for it. Like, give us the money and we'll give you a fake, another fake lead. Wow. Yeah. Now you heard it for yourself, guys. Pretty disturbing, isn't it? I told you. So if I would give you one advice today, the advice would be do not hire home advisor to generate leads for you. Also, it's not only my opinion, some employees there, you heard when Catherine said uh, she advising her friends cancel completely so if you're the contractor and you're already using home advisor and you're not happy and you want to cancel make sure you record the conversation about canceling your services i've done it twice and two times they did not cancel they put it on pause and later on just to resume it and keep charging me for their leads so when you're done with them even if you're using the service right now make sure you call them and say i don't want to have nothing to do with you i don't want to compete with you i don't want you, uh, people to find my company on your service cancel completely request cancellation and make sure it's done otherwise you're going to get charged more for more fake leads hope it helps it was marketing thursday and i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe to my channel Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, we're making more videos just like this one every Thursday when we bring you best marketing tips. Sometimes they're positive, sometimes they're negative, like what not to do, but guess what? What not to do is also a tip. Hope it helps. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.